Got these uh, ITI ramps from Mighty, okay? Um, they sent them in. Um, they're extremely affordable. Now, look, they're not the biggest, okay? And so I, you know, will use boards and stuff to stack. Like, let's say if the car is really low, I'll use boards here ahead of time, you know, or even rubber. I got rubber things cut out that are basically these rubber slats. Um, because you know in case something has a really long nose because sometimes some of the older vehicles or some of the real exotics have long noses which means that you're going to need to compensate and get that front end lifted up earlier on but anyway so in this circumstance okay now this these ones have rounded lips okay um they make ones for uh steel beds that are more of the square lip okay but what i like most about them is how smooth the tip is this is going to be great that that very smooth tip is going to be great for toolboxes and stuff like that but anyways guys these things are super affordable 39.99 okay and then um i'm gonna tell you right now like as far as and it's made in usa too and um and as far as warranty and their products and stuff goes anytime there's an issue with anything at my tea, or mighty i don't know how you say it i guess mighty or mighty anyways ha i've never had an issue of course nothing's never i've never had to send nothing back but see how it's keeping that front end see how that front end staying up just enough my bed is a, one of those it's a 1990 my truck is right and so i don't have airbags so that means that i need these man i have to have this extra little clearance to be able to load so many things and i have it on low rpm um kind of just so y'all could hear me but i'm going to crank the rpm up just a little bit but basically you guys these little ramps i mean i like them Do, i wish they were a little longer but then again for the price like i understand that, that that's what you get like i get that but i would i am going to be utilizing extra boards with the ramps as a combination to make them exactly what i want but man as far as a, having a very small tapered surface that's going to be really really good for um hard tires like toolboxes and stuff like that i'll be able to combine both of these together at the center of the bed for toolboxes and i mean you know the thing is is for the price too and they're super easy to fit into the toolbox for the price guys you just can't beat it but i'll leave links all throughout this video of um how to find the the equipment it's all on my t's site and like i said i'll leave links and throughout the video so you guys can see make sure you can get yours but um yeah my mighty thank you christina and mighty for sending these to me i am um this is just like a practice this is my own vehicle i just kind of made a simulation just to kind of show you guys but there they are you know and i'm gonna be honest they're a lot harder like the composite and that plastic you guys it's extremely hard i want to show y'all all right i want to show y'all something that's kind of cool that i thought well at least that i thought was kind of cool they're hard hard plastic so it's like they're kind of like same made out of the same stuff as some of the control arm skates it looks like the iti makes because it is like that really really hard stuff that they use it seems i'll show you let the old girl flat real quick i don't want to let her roll in too fast because i don't have a strap on it and it's just in the park so turn the idle down but yeah so check these things out guys see these are for do you see how my bed has that that rounded it's perfect absolutely perfect for your rounded lip absolutely perfect these are my vehicles guys i don't have to worry about hiding the tags but look i mean they fit right in down there with my skates and my, my all this stuff's mighty mighty those slings are mighty i'll leave a link those skates everybody knows those are mighty i'll leave a link all my straps mighty everything y'all that i get my axle straps mighty 
Um, there's a, a very good reason why that that's all that's on my truck, you guys. And it's because, number one, affordability, period, hands down. I could not be able to, man, it, it really was a big help and a kickstart having um, the ability to be able to afford the equipment because guys, if I'd have been paying $100 for my bridles, man, look, my soft bridle, my soft bridle's 40 bucks. It was, I think that one was free shipping, okay? Um, chain bridles, 50 bucks, 58 bucks for some of the bigger ones with the, you know, that have the uh, thicker grade, but guys, they have a massive selection of towing equipment. You, it, it would absolutely blow your mind, all the towing equipment, but look, let me get this thing, uh, these tires aired up and these, uh, this thing off my truck, but look, at the end of the day, you guys, if you want to get some IT stuff, I'll leave the link in the description. Pick up your own, man. There's plenty of cool stuff. Um, they have slings. I think these slings were... I thought I had this fixed to where it would open every time. I do not open it a whole bunch, to be perfectly honest. Anyways, so these slings are like... I think these were like 15 to 20 bucks a pop. The skates, um, that's just one of their type. They sell the interlocking ones too. Um, the skates are like um, 15 bucks a pop and then the interlocking ones. And then they even have another one that too. It's a, uh, I don't know the all the information about them right now, but I'm gonna be trying to try out everything that I can that they have um, just because I want to make sure that uh, I'm using the stuff that suits me best. And so I'm going to be constantly on this channel uh, over the next few uh, weeks trying a whole bunch of new different stuff that they send me and just kind of doing um, reviews on it, honest reviews. I'm going to let you know my exact honest opinion on it. Um, and then uh, we'll be able to... Um, come to a conclusion together you know is this something that's worth the the money or is it oh it needs to be plugged in probably is this worth the money or is it here's the rubber mats i was telling y'all about i'm currently make um getting them all cut out now out of this uh rubber material here um yeah but long story short we'll all come to a conclusion you know is it something that's worth the money and i'm gonna tell you that everything i've gotten so far you can't beat it. You just can't beat it. The price point, durability. I think the coolest thing, like I said, I was saying earlier, it did it again, huh? I said earlier, would be, I thought that Made in USC is probably about the one of the coolest things too. Very awesome, you know? But yeah. Um, as I get this new stuff in, I got a bridle supposed to be coming in, and then I'm, I want to try out. They've got some um, all kinds of different tie-down systems I've, I haven't used, and then they also have um, bungees, tarps. So I'm going to be trying out all kinds of different stuff as I need it, and um, you guys will be able to see, you know. And then please, for the love of goodness, man, smash that like button, you guys, if you like the video. And then um, subscribe to the channel. I have uh, almost made it to where I can start getting um, paid by YouTube, but it's not yet. And you know, I've been doing these videos for a little over a year and working hard at it. It won't be long, but what really helps is, is the little bitty things, you guys. Just like hitting the like button. You know what I mean? Just smashing the like button. Um, analytics say that on average, on average, I think it's like 9% uh, of the people that watch my videos uh, are subscribed. And I'm not even asking you to subscribe, which it's free to do that, but I'm not even asking you to subscribe. I'm just asking you to smash the like button, man, if you think the videos are cool. I'm constantly doing videos on all the different gear. Um, these MyT straps that I've been using, I have all the generations because I have like some older ones too, but these newer generations, here's something I thought was cool. Check it out. They even got the name on them now. I need to roll it back up. But yeah, they even have the name on them now. 
But yeah, I gotta go and make sure these got the exact right air pressure because the tire sensor gauge will be going off. But yeah, you guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, like I said, smash that like button and uh, comment down below. Mike May, are you alive? I haven't heard from you in at least like five videos. Uh, it's just basically, it's a, one of my OG subscribers from back in the day and he used to comment pretty often and I haven't I haven't heard from him in uh, probably about eight videos. I'm starting to maybe get worried. I do know that a, a tow truck driver in Florida did get, did get hit. Uh, I, I thought that it, the name was not like the guy's name. I know it wasn't you, at least it, I hope nothing happened, but I hadn't heard from you in forever, man. Um, just kind of checking in, making sure you're all right. And then, uh, but yeah, everything's been going good, guys. Today, it's Friday. It, it's been a little bit slow. Yesterday, I was slammed all day. Um, today, it's just been a little bit slow, so I've been taking time doing maintenance and uh, just kind of getting the truck straightened out. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching so much. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.